Tonight, we're poking around a small pond here in southern Florida in search of amazing nocturnal creatures. Got him. Nice. Very nice. nice. Oh, you're all right, you're all right, you're all right. There we go. Okay. I just managed to catch this little brown anole, which is actually much easier now that it's dark because anoles are a diurnal species. So we found her just sleeping here. And she needs to be careful because at this time of night, there are lots of predators moving around. So we'll get her back on her tree and see if we can get something else. So we're out looking for some snakes and we came across something very interesting. This guy is the Florida ivory millipede, one of the native millipede species here in Florida, and in fact, they can be found through a lot of the southeastern United States. Now, like most millipedes, they're gonna be eating decaying matter, or detritus. So we found him crawling along the forest floor here, and he came out because it's very cool here at night, and a lot of his predators are not active at this time of day, so this is a perfect time for him to get out and feed. This is the Florida leopard frog, a beautiful species of amphibian, and actually the first native frog species that we have found here in Florida. Now, this is a beautiful animal. You can see they get their name leopard frog from those leopard-like spots that run all down their body. And there are a lot of predators that would love to take down a little frog like this. Large fish, snakes, alligators, there are quite a few different things that would consider the Florida leopard frog prey. But we are very happy to come across this species. It's one of the few times we've gotten them in hand. So we're going to get this guy back into the environment and see if we can find anything else. The night is going great so far. We've found a bunch of cool species. But to really make the evening a success, we'd like to track down one of the predators we were warning the leopard frog about. Luckily, we won't have to go far. If there's one nocturnal hunter we know we can count on seeing in Florida, it's definitely this guy, the banded water snake. As soon as we saw it, I wanted to make the capture, but something held me back. This snake wasn't just sitting idly, it was in the middle of something important. See that head twitching behavior? This water snake is hunting. And with the number of frogs around this pond, I bet it's not long until it catches one. The next shot shows a water snake eating a frog. This is an amazing display of their predatory abilities, but may be a little intense to watch. If you'd like to skip this scene, go to the labeled timestamp in the description below to skip right to some different behavior. If you're ready though, here is our unfettered reaction to witnessing this interaction in the wild. Hold on. I'm rolling right now. I zoomed in. Zoomed in enough to see him swallowing that frog. Oh, that's kind of morbid. We're leaving that snake alone. Oh, that's not, that's not right. Is it stable? As stable as I can get it. Can you get it on the tripod? He might sit still. And he swallows it down. Let's get it on the tripod. That is unbelievable. I can't believe we just saw that. The banded water snake is equipped with needle sharp teeth that curve backwards, allowing them to hang on to even the slipperiest of prey items. Paired with their strong senses and impressive speed, they are truly amazing hunters. This snake looks quite satisfied after that meal, so I think we'll let it digest in peace. No need to catch this guy tonight. We've observed banded water snakes on a number of occasions, but we have never witnessed their feeding behavior firsthand. This was an absolute treat. If you want to learn more about the banded water snake, check out this video where we cover their fascinating biology in detail. And with that, we hope you enjoyed, and we will see you in the next one. We've encountered banded water snakes on a number of occasions, but we have never witnessed their feeding behavior firsthand like this. What a treat. That's <laughs> terrible. Oh, oh. I put too much port wine in my lamb asabuco. I, I hope, hope my, my lamb, lamb shanks, shanks are dead. <laughs> <laughs>